Hi, I'm Matt Griffin, Drum and Golf Ambassador, and I'm in at Big Swing Golf. Uh, these can be found in drum and stores all around the country, and uh, I'm getting ready for the uh, the open 150th Open at St Andrews. And fortunately enough, on the on all the simulators, can, you, you can find St Andrews. So great opportunity to get out there, play around, and also while I'm doing that today, I'll give you a few tips about some of the things that the players have been encountering during the week and uh, and what we're actually trying to do out there. So. Uh, here we are standing on the first tee, Royal Ancient Clubhouse behind us. Uh, Going to be a pretty special feeling all, always during the week. I know every player will have nerves, nerves teeing off in, in that situation. Uh, but fortunately, we've got a pretty wide open fairway to hit, hit first shot off the bat. So uh, why don't we get into the round? Always nice to have that first shot away and uh, gives us a good wedge into the into the green. 74 metres to the hole, uh, not too, that flag's not too close to the burn, so it will be pretty aggressive and uh, hopefully make a birdie to start. See it in there, we might get a, might be lucky enough to get away with a birdie, which would be nice. Birdie on the first, which is a great way to start. We're on the second tee here, and one of the unique things with St Andrews is a lot of blind tee shots. So it's really important to have a good caddy and also use your yardage hook, which has where I've got my line. So I can kind of see here that it looks like I sort of want to take it just down on the edge of, edge of the buildings in the distance there and uh, hopefully find the fairway. Bit of a pull drive, but a uh, decent angle to the flag, so hopefully we can get something on the green. And oh, just gonna feed off that slope. Really big uh, tear in the green there. Um, the buffets balls away from the flag, so I'll be left with a pretty hard, hard two putt from there. Well, there you go. 40 feet up the hill, so try and get this, give us a chance, and worst case, walk away with two putts. So three putt bogey and that's what you get. It's an Andrews on the on the second. If you don't hit in the right spot, it's hard, hard to get away with two putts. So um, here we are on the third. Reasonable wide open open hole. It's sort of a hole guys would be really looking to make birdie on during the tournament. Um, sort of one of those holes, just try and get as far up there in a good position and uh, hopefully give myself a wedge with a chance for birdie. in there so pretty much a full wedge for me so looking at trying to get it as close to the hole as I can. Inside 20 foot so birdie chance. Reasonably flat green, not as not as uh, slope as the second, so hopefully uh, give myself a good chance here. Got to get used to those slower greens over in the in the UK. Okay, onto the fourth hole. Quite a um, one of the strongest holes on the front nine, really. Uh, long long par four. Uh, there's a big sort of mound, group of mounds on the left there that you've got to avoid and try and hit it down the chute. 
Uh, also, if you cut the pot bunker on the right, that you've got to avoid. So, crucial tee, tee shot to get, get somewhere in, in play. So, I got over that mound. Uh, we're in, in reasonable position here, 177, so a little bit of elevation, so just hit a nice easy five. A little bit off to the right, but it's not, not too bad there. Uh, a lot of these spots here, you can chip it or even, even putt it from off the greens. The sand is at the, as, as the fairways get a bit firmer, but I'll. Um, Today we might once go ahead and chip it. Not bad there, so close enough. For, it's going to give me a par. I'd probably take four of those for the week on the on the fourth hole. Uh, so here we are on the on the fifth hole. Uh, First par five of the, of the round, there's only two, two at St Andrews. One of the unique things about the course is two par fives, two par threes, so less than most courses. Um, Putt's great, eagle opportunity, even a bird, you walk away with birdie, you're not, not too unhappy. One of the, and the unique thing about this green is there'll be, there will be a pin on this green that could be about 90 metres from the front. So it's extremely long green, one of the numerous double greens at the old course. And uh, so, it, this hole can play really different depending on which day which day you're playing it. So good, good drive away there, so perfect position to have a crack at crack at the flag. So 183, pin looks a little bit away from the front, should kick down from the front, so I go with a five and... Bang, that'd be nice. A couple of those during the week would be uh, it would be great. Okay, here we are on the uh, on the sixth hole. Uh, another reasonably straightaway hole, but another blind shot. So I think once we get through this hole, we've most of the blind shots are sort of sort of done. Um, but we're generally sort of with the predominant win. This is kind of one of the last holes you get going out downwind, and then when you sort of all the way coming home is back back into the breeze. So another hole you really want to take take it take advantage of. So good drive away, we're in, in position again, so really uh, really important across these holes to make as many birdies as you can and uh, try and get this in one nice and close. A little bit too much club, giving myself a bit of work to do on the green. Okay, here we are at, on the seventh hole. So this is the first of what's called the, the loop at St Andrews. So you actually here on the seventh hole, you can probably see up in front of you the, the green is shared with the 11th hole. So your second shot actually crosses over with the 11th, really something you don't get anywhere in the world of golf. Uh, and it's kind of the first of, I've, I've hit driver on most holes on the way out and here you start to need to really think about where you place your, place your tee shot. Um, from a length perspective, because you've got that big, massive bunker ahead of the green. So, um, looking at my yardage book here, which we sort of got here, I've got, see, this is from a Lynx, uh, a Dunhill Lynx trophy I played probably around 10 years ago. So, that's sort of where I put where I want to be. So, something sort of probably around 240 off the tee is ideal. So, I'll probably hit, uh, given the course play a little bit soft today, I'll hit, hit three wood. <laughs> So 
so pretty happy with that. It's short of the main bunkers, gives me uh, sort of 90, 90, 90 meters to the flag and a, a, another good chance of birdie. I'm pretty sure that is shell bunker. It's probably, from a size perspective, the biggest bunker on the course. And when you get there, that actually, probably around that, the top of that lip to the base of the bunker is probably about, probably about my height. So definitely a bunker you, wanna, you want to avoid. Think in there, there's just a little fall off of the back of the green. The ball's just sort of kind of missed that ridge I wanted to be on, and it's just gone away. So it left me quite a tricky, tricky two putt. Not the par, not the worst, not the best, but we'll uh, move on, move on to the eight. Here we are on number eight. This is kind of the first time we actually turn back around to, towards the clubhouse. You can see uh, the St Andrews town in the distance and uh, on your way back in, there's a lot of, you use a lot of those markings to pick out where you want to start your tee shot. So um, here, kind of a bit of a blind to the, you can't really see the front of the green, but you usually see the top of the flag. So pretty straightforward uh, par three, but in with it, not much wind, you want to get one in nice and close and have a chance of making birdie. So pretty decent shot, got sort of under, just under 30 feet into the flag and uh, as you can see, sort of breaking a little bit left to right, um, but hopefully a part I can give a good, give a good chance. Thought I had that one, just slid, just slid past the edge. Here we are, number nine, last hole of front nine. Uh, again, going back back towards back towards St Andrews Town. Um, another good birdie opportunity, but also you've got to be quite careful of the tee. You've got these two two big pop bunkers that are really nasty. Uh, if you go in those, you're really chipping it out sideways, even though you're only 40, 50 yards to the green. It'd be a great shot to get to the green. And then you've got the gorse bush sort of on the left. So uh, it does, does require a good shot, got good tee shot, but if you get a good one away in the right conditions, you can even uh, even hit the green. So uh, I don't think I'll get there today because course isn't playing too firm yet. So, but I'll hit a driver and hopefully give myself like a, a short pitch into the green. Uh, gorse bush is there. It's a bit like um, here we have the native vegetation, but it's a it's a really thick bush that spiky, uh, and basically if you hit the ball in there, it just it sucks it up and it's a lost ball. If you if you can find it, you you're not really going to be able to play it out of there unless you're willing to come out with about 1,500 scratches on your body. So uh, definitely uh, definitely something to be avoided. But something you find on all the links links courses through uh, through through Great Britain. So a really important part of the course is that. It's not my best tee shot, but fortunately it's ended up short of the trap, so I should be able to, even though it's in the rough, I'll be able to get something on the green. Not my best wedge, but a chance. This is another fairly flat chance, so hopefully I uh, give myself a good, good roll on it and uh, give it a chance of dropping in the side. Right line, not enough strength. Well, three, three nine holes, uh, I guess you're never un, too unhappy with being under par. Probably around St Andrews, you do want to make the scoring on the, that first part of the nine, but it's nice to get that eagle on number five and then uh, just haven't quite got my wedges close enough. But uh, yeah, if I can play strong coming home, it'll, it'll be able to shoot, a, shoot a decent score, but there are some uh, definitely some tougher holes on the, on the way in.